how's everyone doing? Today I'll be showing my Arrow Video Blu-ray collection. And let me know what you think of my Arrow videos, the movies, and what recommendations you would give me for different Arrow Video Blu-rays to pick up. Now this doesn't include my Arrow Video Blu-ray Steelbooks. That's in my Blu-ray Steelbook section. So these are just the, the Blu-rays uh, right here. And I'll go ahead and show you right there. I don't have a ton, but I do have a couple more coming. I have uh, Thief coming. Uh, I know that, but let's go ahead and go through this. Uh, first up is uh, Larry Cohen's film, The Stuff, super cheesy, fun, uh, 80s. I always wanted to actually eat the stuff, but I know uh, that's not a good idea, given everything that happens in there. Next up is Delta Force, the Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin, great uh, action uh, movie against terrorists. Uh, next up is Theater of Blood with uh, Vincent Price, fantastic film. And I really love all the different uh, characters uh, that he plays in that one as well. Some really outrageous ones. Uh, I think Vincent Price is a fantastic uh, horror actor. I think everybody knows him. And there's certain roles that really stand out. And I think that's one of the ones for me personally. Next up is The Beast Within. Uh, this was just a really crazy, uh, again, cheesy, fun 80s horror movie right there. It kind of reminds, this one always kind of reminded me of an X-Files episode as well. I remember there's a certain X-Files episode that had kind of a somewhat similar theme to it. Uh, next up is Porky's. Love this one. Great sex comedy. Uh, classic uh, teen sex comedy. One of the uh, Bob Clark one as well. And this is the complete Dr. Fibs. And I love these sets that they have right here. The abominable Dr. Fibs. And Dr. Fibs rises again. Really nice set. Has a nice uh, booklet in here, too. Fantastic. Another great Vincent Price role. I, Arrow Video does a fantastic job with the releases, not just transfer-wise, not just special feature-wise, packaging-wise as well. It's a complete deal with them. You get everything. They're, to me, is they're top-notch as far as Blu-ray releases go. Arrow Video, Criterion Collection, and uh, Scream Factory do the best jobs as far as especially a uh, horror and cult kind of releases like that on Blu-ray. But uh, Arrow Video, one of my favorite uh, companies out there for sure. Uh, again, I love their even their clear cases is something that I think makes them stand out. Uh, People Under the Stairs from uh, Wes Craven right there. There's Roach. This one was always one that was uh, really awesome and creepy. I watched so much growing up as a kid. Next up is Hell Comes to Frog Town. Uh, with Roddy Piper as uh, Sam Hell and uh, post-apocalyptic movie and there's these frog creatures there's a frog stripper in here as well just a crazy movie oh and the, the actress in here was really attractive uh, Sandhal Bergman too she's been in a bunch of other stuff um, but that one right there was a limited release I think to 3000 Love the heck out of that movie. Cheesy fun. That one actually grew on me. I remember the first time I watched it, I wasn't a huge fan. And then I watched it again. I really appreciated it more. It's, again, I like post-apocalyptic movies, so I'm kind of uh, a little bit more endeared towards that. And I love the action aspects to it, too. And Roddy Piper's always fun in different movies. And there's actually a few sequels to this, too, which I don't believe have official releases. Next up is uh, Brian De Palma's Sisters. A uh, really crazy movie. And the ending to this one always stands out to me. Uh, next up is Motel Hell. It takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. Uh, one of my favorite horror comedy movies. Uh, I love the the scene towards the end with the pig mask, the chainsaw. Everything about this movie is just g hilarious to me. And uh, I just thought this was a fantastic movie. Rory Calhoun was excellent in here. Uh, great horror comedy movie. I can't say enough great things about this one. I've talked about this one many times on my channel before. Love this movie. Highly recommend the heck out of it. Uh, Blind Woman's Curse. I like a lot of these kind of uh, martial arts ones, and that I've been actually when I was growing up, I didn't watch a ton of martial arts uh, movies, but recently, over the past couple of years, I've watched a lot more. And this is one that I really enjoyed. Kind of a revenge uh, aspect to it as well, from what I can remember. Next up is this double feature right here. Uh, really fantastic cinematography for both these ones. Uh, Koya Natsquatsi. I always mess the names up in here. And Power Quatsi, which means uh, life and transformation and life out of balance, respectively. A great box set for this as well. It has another nice booklet. And I like their kind of the digipack designs that they have for them. And uh, fan like, I can't say enough great things about the cinematography in those films. Beautiful. Just shows all over different people, uh, different places in the world. And uh, beautiful to watch. And next up are my Arrow Video Window Box 
additions right here, which, you know, they slide out right here. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. That's what she said. Kind of, I guess. Not really. <laughs> All right. This one's a little difficult to slide out, but here you go. You slide it out like that. There you go. And there's reversible covers. Uh, so there's technically four covers that you can choose from right there. And there's a poster in there as well. There you go. You get to see what's in each one of these ones. Sometimes it's a two-disc edition, but you can see the different covers to choose from, the poster. There's usually a booklet as well. Yeah, it's another thing for all these different Aero Video ones. There's usually a booklet inside too. So you get the special features. You get the transfer. You get the awesome packaging. Uh, you get... Again, uh, really cool artwork. You can do the classic artwork or the new, newly commissioned artwork, and you get the booklet with a bunch of information in there. Uh, special features out the wazoo on the Blu-ray release and in the packaging. So awesome! Phenomena is one of my all-time favorite movies. My favorite Argento film. Uh, Jennifer Connelly, fantastic in this one. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember his name. Doctor Loomis is in here too. Uh, but this movie has everything going on. Uh, Donald Pleasance, there you go. I, this one is one that I grew up on, and it's just so much going on. She can control insects. There's a crazy mutated killer child. There's a monkey wielding like a, like a, a blade, a machete. Um, so much crazy stuff going on in this movie, and I probably just gave a bunch of it away, but if you haven't seen it, you need to. It's fantastic. Inferno, another Argento film. Uh, it's not one of my favorite Argentos, but I'd say top five for me. I guess, I, well, I don't like a lot of his newer stuff. Um, as far as the the Mother Trilogy and all that, um, I don't know. I, Inferno is probably one of the ones where, last ones that I really started to, uh, that the last ones that I enjoyed from him, uh, Tenebrae. Um, Deep Red is probably my second favorite from him. And then Suspiria. But Inferno is probably like one of the last ones I really was like super into. Uh, so when I say it's not one of my favorites, I mean it's not like top three, but top five. Uh, Frankenhooker, cheesy fun uh, from Hen and Lauder. And yeah, I mean this one, again, I love all the different things that you can choose from the artwork. And yeah, this one was, it's crazy. <laughs> it's Frankenstein meets, you know, girlfriend slash hooker. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, Exterminator right here, another exploitation action crazy cheesy fun movie uh, deep red which is fantastic love the heck out of this one I still remember the scene when he's walking by and he sees the like the reflection love that Dawn of the Dead I think this one is like crazy out of print it goes for ridiculous money right now um, I love the poster in here as well of that and the fact that it included that and all the different cuts in here as well um, this is a three disc set it's a uh, two blu-ray no it's one Blu-ray uh, and two DVDs, and it has all the different cuts, theatrical, director's, Argento cut, classic right there. Cat of Nine Tales from Argento, I, I do enjoy Cat of Nine Tales as well, <laughs> I can't leave that out. Great releases on here, I, again, these window box ones are just fantastic to me. Um, Bay of Blood, which is very influential, uh, Giallo, Slasher, uh, definitely certain slashers have uh, kind of taken or paid homage to this movie. Definitely highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It goes by so many different names as well. That one always stood out to me, but there you go. There's my window box editions right there from Arrow Video. And then here, I don't know if I showed you the back of Inferno. I think that's the only one I didn't. Yeah, I think I did. I take that back. But there you go. There's all my Arrow Video Blu-rays. All the, they have so many cool editions. I just want to get so many of them. Uh, I have a bunch of their steel books, which I'll show in another video. But these ones were just like the Arrow Video non steelbook Blu rays. There you go. And again, if you have any Arrow Video uh, Blu ray recommendations for me to check out and pick up, definitely let me know. Leave me the recommendations down below. And let me know what movies you would like to see Arrow Video release. I think that would be awesome too. Maybe we can all write to them and get certain movies released. I would love to see them release uh, Blood Diners, one that I really want to see them release, Rawhead Rex. I was going through some of my uh, other DVDs over here and I was just thinking, wow, like what movies really deserve, uh, especially horror, deserve a Blu-ray release? Uh, so many different ones have been getting released lately and I'm like there's so many other ones that deserve a release. But those are just a couple that popped to the top of my mind. Uh, I know they're going to be coming out with uh, Arrow Video US 
So they'll be releasing a lot of titles that are region A. A lot of these Blu-rays were region locked. There's a couple that are region free, but some are region locked. So now they'll be releasing a whole bunch of ones for region A. So if you missed out on them before, now you can catch up and check out a lot of the Arrow video releases. I hope they're gonna be the same as this. I think it will be the same releases, just essentially region A. I'm really excited for that as well. Uh, so there you go. There's my Arrow video Blu-ray release that aren't steel books. Everything else, the window editions, uh, the digipacked editions and things like that. And I love everything about them. One of my favorite companies out right now that release Blu-rays. Again, leave me your recommendations for Arrow video Blu-rays to uh, check out and pick up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care.